whenever you're ready. My name is Chris, and uh, when I was uh, in junior high school, I used to work for my mom and dad, a little grocery store that they had. And uh, in between customers, I would read, and I come across a copy of uh, The Way, which is a paraphrased version of the Bible. And I would read it, and I, no particular order, just open it and read wherever I happened to land. And uh, I came across in Matthew, in the ninth chapter, about uh, Jesus telling people not to call any man father, for there's only one father which is in heaven. And this struck my mind as uh, a reflection of uh, the Catholic Church because they require to call their priest father. And uh, on another day, I, I came across a verse in uh, First Timothy that uh, talked about uh, false teachers coming that would uh, forbid the marrying and forbid the eating of meat. And this again brought to my mind the Catholic Church because priests and nuns are not allowed to marry. And you had to uh, refrain from eating meats on Friday. Uh, so this again gave me a reflection about the Catholic Church, uh, that they weren't following scriptures. And then another day I came across a, uh, a passage in uh, Colossians, the second chapter, about uh, adhering to doctrines of don't eat, tuss, touch, taste. And so to me, any, any religious group that says uh, you have to stop eating this or stop drinking that uh, is also not in accordance with what the Bible teaches. And um, where I want to go from here, I, when I got married, uh, we were stationed in uh, Salinas, California, and uh, my wife was a Christian, and uh, she wanted to go to services, and I said, well, you know, you go where you want, you find some place you like, and uh, maybe I'll go with you, and maybe I won't. And uh, one day I opted to go with her, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised because what I had observed of the worship service was along the lines of which I had read. In uh, December of 1977, uh, uh, during the invitation, I went forward and uh, confessed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and was baptized that afternoon. And the reason we had to wait till the afternoon was because their uh, baptistry or what they used to immerse people with was broken and was needing repair. Uh, so we had to make arrangements to go someplace else. That's why we had to wait till the afternoon. Um, during my younger days, uh, I had a, uh, what some would consider a uh, wild life, I guess. I consumed a tremendous amount of alcohol and drove uh, way above the speed limit among other things. And uh, God has changed my life. I would, uh, you need to consider where you're going to spend eternity. 
there's only two options. One of those is not very pleasant. I would strongly urge you to open the book, search out the scriptures, and make a decision to come to Christ. And uh, time is short. He's coming back, and you need to be ready. Thank you.